and we're doing uh, double videos today as I'm testing out my new uh, GoPro headgear uh, equipment and um, I'm doing basically the handheld video and the backup uh, because you know obviously I don't want to give anybody seizures I don't know how well this is shooting and I'm still learning how to use this GoPro but uh, let's get right to the crux of the matter and we'll see how we make out. Uh, this is a 2003 Crown Line uh, 230 um, and uh, you know tan uh, and you know what she is a good solid boat uh, in great condition. Uh, it's sitting on a trailer but trailer is not included in the sale of this vessel and what we're gonna do is just take a quick walk around and try and give you guys other than a detail uh, you guys can see here, it's just a little bit of dirt. We're out here in the mist. Uh, bottom paint looks great. And um, that's pretty cool. And I'm gonna just gonna take a quick walk around with you guys. Gotta remember to keep my head down too with this headgear. So I'm not uh, missing anything. Because uh, we really want to get used to using this GoPro because it gives us high resolution. And it's gonna be great when we dive on some of these big boats in the water. Um, here we go, just taking a quick look at the lower unit. Duo prop. And uh, we're going to go all the way around here and see how this looks on the GoPro. And also, sorry you guys, you are also part of my beta here with this. So overall, I don't see anything uh, giving us any red flags. Just a good, clean, solid 2003 crown line. And what we're going to do is we're just going to hop up inside. This is powered by a 5.0 uh, Merc. Uh, as far as the other specs go, details and everything that comes with the vessels, that'll be up on the website. Uh, I'm going to pop off my sandals real quick. I'm wearing sandals in 45 degree weather, but I do not want to uh, muck up any of these boats. So you guys kind of bear with me as I climb on up. And let's just take a quick walk through. Also, uh, you know, I did not come here to clean these vessels. Uh, we're showing them raw. Let's just take a quick walk through. Let's just take a quick walk through this bow rider. I'll tell you what, she's a nice boat. Look at this, huh? All right, obviously uh, your table is set up for right here. Uh, cushions are in great shape, just need to be cleaned up. Let's just take a quick look. Okay, up on the bow, we can kind of see this cushion here has got a little bit of stress in it. Um, you know, probably be, need to be re redone at some point, but overall no rips, no tears. And also we see there's a little sun worn over on this side. Um, other than that, we are good to go. Hopefully my head's going down. There's where our anchor is. And let's just take a quick look. I'm taking a look here. You got a couple little goobers up on those cushions. And same here, but overall, once again, uh, the cushions are nice and cushy for cushions. And everything seems pretty good. Let's just take a quick look around. Just needs to be cleaned up. Captain's chairs are in great shape. Yeah, there we go. You know, that's the problem is you sit, you put the vessels up for sale, they sit out, they're gonna get dirty. Um, but overall, she seems to be really in real nice shape. A little bit of elbow, ooh, wow. Let me get my head down so we can get that in the go. That is, that Santa Potty setup is clean. Clean and neat. Let me see. Ah, oh, smells good too. So obviously that's been tended to and taken care of. So that's nice. A uh, nice little 23 foot bow rider. Let's see what we got going on in here. All right. Uh, personal items as seen, always not included. Give it close and center doors. Block that off. Storage, another cushion. Overall, Bimini's in great shape. I don't, I'm not showing any stress. I've been through the vessel before. Floor is solid. I keep thinking I have my head up. Sink. Storage. Percos. Perco. Oh, batteries are on. That's a no-no. All right. Overall, uh, I would believe to. I I could just say, you know, obviously the vessel would need to be run and sea trialed. I always recommend. You guys, uh, you know, put a vessel in a contract, make your offers, uh, you know, get a survey, take it out on sea trial. Um, no one's expecting anybody to just walk up and pull away, but you have to do your part. And let's just take a look at this situation. All right. 
And I'm sorry if the second video, the GoPro, is coming in shaky. Like I said, I'm still trying to learn how to use it. But here goes our Mercruiser 5.0 MPI. The batteries look pretty fresh, although the switches are on. So we know those will probably need to be recharged. But let's just take a look. Pretty clean. Pretty neat. Uh, I think what we've got here is set up all clean and just been serviced uh you know all the vessels in that we're co-brokering out have been just serviced and there we go and uh something that's uh gonna be real night on this it looks like we're all got fresh water cooled so that's always a good too so anyway that'll pretty much do it uh we can see that that's not connected anymore so i want to try and find you guys as much negative as we can but overall just a good clean vessel um priced right you guys are seeing it and I'm seeing it. No fluff, uh, uncleaned, and raw. And you want to know what? Uh, she's a good vessel. So anyway, Rob out here at uh, IamAlwaysInHotWater.com. Working with you guys to just give you a different look. Sometimes still pictures lie. You know, boats get cleaned up and then you get the pretty pictures. But, you know, this is what your boat would look like if it sat in your backyard for six months. Um, overall, she's ready for the water. And that will just about do it. So anyway, Rob out here at I'mAlwaysInHotWater.com on this 230 Crown Line 2003 5.0 MPI. Signing off. You guys have a great day.